Thank you, Lord, for the reading of your word. And daddy, we we submit, Lord, service this time in your presence. Submit my mind, my spirit, my lips of clay. Father God, into your molding hands, that for this moment, I be that vessel that can take us from one place to another, from one glory to another, from one victory to another. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How shall I curse whom God has not cursed? Or how shall I defy whom the Lord has not defied? For from the top of the rock I see him, and from the hills I behold him. The people among the nations. And Balak said unto him, Come, I pray, come with me unto another place from whence thou mayest may see them, and thou shalt see but the outermost part of them, and shall not see them all, and curse me them from there. And he brought him into the field of Zif Zifim, to the top of Pisgah, and built seven altars, and offered a bullock and a ram on every altar. But he said, He hath not beheld iniquity in Jacob, neither hath he seen perversions in Israel. The Lord, his God, is with him. And the shout of a king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. He has, he has as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and Israel, what shall, or rather, what hath God done? Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion and lift up him himself as a young lion. He shall lie down and he shall not lie down until he eats of the prey and drink the blood of the slain. The word that I, I bring to you, I've, I've, I've shared with you several times before. But I felt to bring it back again. To rekindle your faith. So that you can revive your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, Neighbor, stay with us. Now, this is a story of Israel traveling from Egypt into the promised land. Now, when the Israelites had left Egypt, they must also carry the remembrance of what God said and the covenants that God has made with Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. Among that, amongst that, there are other people that God has blessed besides Abram. One of which was Lot. Because of Abraham. 
So the children of Lot, one of which is Moab. So when the children of Israel were coming out into Egypt, God said, you will not take their land because I've not given it to you. One of these people is Edom, the children of Esau, the brother of Jacob. And God said, you will not take their land because I've not given it to you. Even if you have the power to take it, don't take it. Now, when children of Israel came out of Egypt, they, the, the Bible says they came close to the river Jordan next to the land of Moab. And they camped there and sent a request to the king of Moab that permit us to pass through your land. We will not take anything nor even drink your water. But Moab said no. That's why they came and camped next to the river Jordan. They could have forced themselves through Moab. But God says don't do it. Even though they didn't go through Moab, the people of Moab were able to see the children of Israel where they are camped. And they fear them to a point that they felt that they must attack them out of fear. Being afraid that because we refuse them to go through our land, what if they decide to come and attack us? When they were coming, I mean, uh, uh, consorting concerning this matter, they invited their enemies the Midianites who were the sons of Esau. The enemies became friends. They made peace because they have now a common enemy. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, be careful. Because your enemies, when they see your success, they may become friends. Now, now, the Midianites came to the Moabites. By the way, the Midianites and the Moabites are also related. Just as Jacob and Moab and Midian are related. But Israel is in trouble because of his family. Mm. Let, me, let, let me talk to somebody. The Egyptians pursued the Israelites. Because they wanted servants. They were not for pushed by jealousy. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Egyptians tormented the Israelites because they want to see them as servants. But the family of Israel is 
attacking Israel because of jealousy. That's why the king of Moab had to invite his enemies and say, let's make peace because today our cousin that was far from us today we can see him with his children they are successful please come they don't have a home but we do they don't have houses we do they don't have land we do but we can see their potential if we don't stop them they will be successful listen to me the problem here is not about what was happening with Israel it was about what could happen shake your neighbor and say neighbor you are in trouble because of your potential it's not what you are doing it's what you could do that is getting you in trouble now now hear this before the Israelites had issues with Moab there was a king of Sihon who when he heard that the Israelites wants to go through his land thought that maybe they want to take his land oh gosh it's just that you don't know and you don't see your potential because your potential threatens people they think you, 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 you are about to take everything they have and now they begin to fight you due to their fear when Sion came against Israel Moses went with the soldiers of Israel Sion was a giant but Moses killed him and there was another king close by King Og who was powerful he was a great giant and when he heard that Sion has been defeated he with his children that are also giants and the soldiers said let us go and destroy Israel but they, they were killed all of them and Israel survived now Sihon had taken some part of Moab's land after he fought them and overcame them and he took some of the cities of Moab now when the people of Moab invited the people of Midian the Midian came and said we can only advise you we cannot fight these people and they said to them when Sihon took your land he didn't just overcame you there was a sorcerer that they went and invited to curse you so that when you fought Sihon you were defeated because you were first defeated spiritually 
and they say, who is this man? They said his name is Balaam. The people of Moab went and invited their enemy again. Who is Balaam? Who cursed them before? And they said to him, Come, do to our enemies. Come and do to our enemies what you did to us. That's why when Balaam arrived, the king said, We know that whosoever you bless is blessed. Whosoever you curse is cursed. Now we want your curse to be upon our enemies. And at this time, the children of Israel are camped in one place. They are not in the land of Moab. They are in the land of Og. Whom they have overcame. But in Moab, which was a bit higher than the land where they were, so the Moabites can see the Israelites down there. The Israelites are down there minding their own business. They are not aware that as we are here eating and drinking and sleeping there are people up there that are watching us Israelites did not know that they are cousin the, the, the Moabites has an issue with them the Israelites had no idea that as they are cooking their food, somebody is watching them. They had no idea. As they are raising their children, their cousin is watching them. They had no idea that up there on the mountain, somebody can see me. Somebody can see my success. Somewhere on that mountain, Somebody is watching me and they are angry because of what they see. You, 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 don't, you have no idea who every day when you wake up that there is somebody that is watching you, that's watching what you're doing, who's watching where you're going, and they're not happy. And because of their unhappiness, they are making peace with their enemies. Because they now want to, to have a team of more people to attack you. When you are minding your business, thinking that you are at peace with everybody, your cousin is watching saying it makes me angry to see them seated the way they are it makes me angry to see them happy though they don't have a house it makes me angry to see them okay even though they don't have a land come on somebody you are busy worrying that I am not like other people. Other people are successful. Hear me. There are those that are successful. But they are still envying your life. You don't even have a car. But they can see your potential. They are living in their houses. You don't even have a house. But they hate you. Because they can see your potential. 
they can see that tomorrow you can be a different person. Tomorrow you have a great potential. Listen. At this time some men in Israel were complaining. Say maybe we should just go back to Israel to, to Egypt. Because we don't have what was said we will have when we leave Egypt. They are discouraged. But their enemies can see potential. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Shake your neighbor. And say, neighbor, look at yourself. Are you looking at yourself? The, the, the you you are looking at is getting discouraged. Yet your enemies can see that you are about to have a breakthrough. You are being discouraged and you're feeling like giving up. Yet at that time, your enemies can see you. And Hello? Israel is down here. Moab is up there. Moab can see. Can see everything about Israel. Now, now, let's get to the next step. Here comes Balaam. On his way. The Lord met him. And said, where are you going? Don't go to them. Don't curse my people. The Lord rebuked Balaam and said, go back. But Balaam continued. Huh? And when he got to Moab, the king of Moab came with the leaders and elders of Moab and said, come, let us show you our problem. And they went to the higher place. And when they were up there, they could see Israel. Even though they could not see the whole camp. But they could see portion of them. And Balaam said, build me seven altars. Why seven altars? Because seven is a, is a number of completion. It's a number of God. It is the Lord that says, Balaam, don't curse my people. Now Balaam comes with the, with the altars so that he can bribe God. So that when God may see the sacrifice, maybe he will change his mind and permit Balaam to curse Israel. But God says, how do you curse what's already blessed? 
and those seven altars didn't work. Can I talk to somebody? It cost them seven altars and seven bulls that were sacrificed on the mountain watching over the people of God. Hear me? Some people will go to an extent of a great sacrifice buying your life and you have no idea. The altars are now smoking. Israel has no idea. Even if maybe they saw the smoke, it means nothing to them. While they are minding their business, there is a battle in the spirit. Somebody is going out, all out, to buy their souls. I wish I was talking to somebody. When they were minding their business, somebody was going all out, giving the best sacrifice. So that they can buy the souls of Israel. It didn't work. And Balaam said, Maybe the network is not right this side. Maybe the heavens are blocked. They cannot see the sacrifice. Let's move to the different location. And when they got there, they built seven more altars. They slaughtered bulls and ran. So that they can give an offering to God. Oh my goodness. Some offerings are not innocent. Zimwem pos in Zingwa zene wa kofiwa i, awa kofiwa zui tu pepon. Ziko renga mwe wavo. Zingwa zene wa, zingwa chene de zene wa na kofiwa i. Ni soko fori nduri ne chene de ya mfuna. Ni kofuno ananga isi yone. Halo? Huna zitavero. Zenezia <laughs> Ndadoba humbu uzandari ngongo nduri Utserele zabo nesu ya konda Mwone haba na danki Kapa dobo nende kovaro ya elamani Nduri mwa ba kovaro wapa Mwone haba dibe na chitu Mara jehova haba dibe mwone haba siyambe And the Israelites continue to live In ignorance Basa dibe chitu And the second altars didn't work. They had to move to the next position. They are not giving up. Hear me, church. As a child of God, stay God. Because your life could be in trouble as we speak. Do you know what happens when people erect altars? Hear this. Many years later, 
when Israelites were settled in their land. They went out to make war with Moab. And the Bible says the Moabites were defeated. And the king ran back into the city and he took his son, his firstborn son, and he built an altar on, on the higher house of the city. And he sacrificed his son on the, on, on the top of the roof, on the roof of the house. And the Bible says, when that happened, the tables turned against Israel. There was just a few number of Moabites that were left in the, in the battle. But after that sacrifice, the Israelites, though there were many, they turned their back and ran for their lives. There is a spiritual assault that comes against you after any altar. There is a war that starts spiritually against your life. But in the case of Israel, they built seven of them. In that battle of Israel, the latter battle of Israel and Moab, Panda, only one altar was built. And it worked. But here, it's seven. It didn't work. They built another seven. It didn't work. They moved to another seven. It didn't work. Now, now watch, watch what happens. When it didn't work. It says in verse 21. He had not behold iniquity in Jacob. Neither has he seen perfection in Israel. The Lord God is with him. And the shout of a king is among them. I repeat. He has not beheld iniquity. And not, not even perversion. The Lord is with them. And the shout of a king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. And he has said, or rather he had, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Okay. I'm about to close now. Turn to your neighbor and say, we are closing, we are closing. Number one, instead of the curse, he says, these are the words of God. Jacob is innocent. So therefore, that's why the altars cannot work. And number two, the shout of a king is among them. Those of you that are coming on Wednesday, you will understand this part. God blessed Abraham 
anointed him and said, you're going to be great. The nations of the world will be blessed through you. Whosoever curses you will be cursed. But whosoever blesses you is going to be blessed. All right? Now, the blessing that God spoke over Abram had to manifest to, for us to see that it is true. Amen. Lot was captured. And Abraham was told. Now he had to evoke the anointing upon his life. We heard that he took about a hundred, I believe, of the, the young men that were servants in his house. And he went against five kings. In one night, about a hundred people or so, with the leader being Abraham, destroyed five kings. Destroyed their camps and they brought back everything. It is not possible. On, in, in a normal situation, it's not possible. What kind of strength is this that Abraham is able to defeat all these people? What kind of, of speed is this? That he was able to go to different camps. And in one night have destroyed all of them. Now, Abraham passed the blessing upon uh, 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 Isaac. Now, Isaac, when he was old, he wanted to give it to Esau. But the wife heard called Jacob and said, Jacob, we are going to slaughter a, a, a goat. Take the skin and cover your arms. Wear the clothes of your brother. So that your, your father, because now he's blind, he can only feel you, he cannot see you. So that he must be able to feel the skin of your brother. And the smell of your brother through his clothes. He will bless you. And the father ate and released that which he got from Abraham. Deposited upon Jacob and Jacob left to be with his uncle when he came back now he has his sons he has these 10 11 sons they are still young guys in their 20s and in their teens and we hear that their, their, their sister was raped Rapha. And now the guy who raped her took her by force. He is a prince in the land of Sikkim. Which means the army is behind him. The two brothers of Dina. They went to Sikkim. They fought the whole city. Two guys. The other one was 20 and the other one was 18. They fought. Kill every man. Kill every boy. They destroyed the whole city. Two. How are they doing this? The same anointing that was on their father, that was on their grandfather. And that was on their great grandfather. Now the elder brother Simeon, who 
who are supposed to carry all this anointing in one. When he, we, we became jealous of his father, he messed up his father's relationship with his wife. Amen. And he was cursed. And the blessing was now divided among the sons. And the anointing of a king was given to Judah. That's why now you hear the Bible say the shout of a king is in their midst. When we talk of Jesus being the, the lion of the tribe of Judah is because Judah when he is faced with the battle he will make a shout that will deafen the ears of his enemies. Watch it in watch it in machine to a point that they will be frightened. That's why now there is this prophecy many years later that these people cannot be cursed. Why? Because the shout of Judah is not dead with Judah. It's within them. When you go to them, you meet a lion. That's why he continued to say, they are like a lion. That if you provoke, it will not lie down until he has drank the blood of the prey. Why? What was he saying? He was saying, Moab, look to what happened to Og. Og provoked Israel. And when they rise up against him, they did not rest until Og and his entire generations were done with. Look what happened to Sihon. They did not rest. Once they capture you, you are in trouble. This was a warning to, to Moab that don't fight these people. Let me talk to somebody. There is an anointing that when you carry your enemies will talk among themselves and advise each other without your knowledge that if you start this with this one it will not end well. Can I talk to somebody? Shake your neighbor. And say the bishop is talking to you now. Please, please, shake your neighbor. guru Shika. <laughs> Abaye beri we abare beri aba so goshuma na nae. Zino riri iwe mwana wa mzi. Masina una he ndozo he. Ineri neri chiambari sinandi bo riri. Nari neri vanaba Abraham. Vanaba Abraham uma sina. Hezi mutu wako waita zitu. Vone no zi divaba sa zi zori wako itiwa zitu. Zitiwa zono ko itiwa. Na zono ko rumeriwa. Zia humandira. Zwa humera hava ne vazo. Bako atama fungoni. Zino zichi huma. Haba vane vasovaya zura fasi. Vasonga mtuba. 
bari mulandu zwi saiti but iyo yo to da zoro kwe ni hulwana la da la ba vhudza la rini kwaitwa ngo ri vhewe ni mabofu ni ita zwithu zwinini se zwidive ha ba vhathu ha ba vhana mukosi wa ndao hei phasela iya ta vha mukosi vhone vhoebe turi dzanu dziko huma ngazo aba jene gauri hedzi turi dzena ruma dzichi shika tsini bibili apa ba tori tori ni If you behold the people shall rise up as a great lion wadovua sandaukuru and lift up himself as a young lion he shall not lie down until he eat of the prey and drink the blood of the slain Upi. Haba ba tu haba. Vaya vua. Unga divona zichinga zichaita apa petu tonga anointing yo furua. Vaya yodwe beliu. Unga divanya aza. Warukupa na zi onat peri sa chazifa. Hoe beliu. Mara waba rebera. Vaya vua. Nga uri huna mukosi wa ndau urevu kati habo. Ana ndi kwamba na muwe mtu hapa petu. Iwe mwana wa msimu. Wa ambara hechi chilizi hechi. Valiche ba uto mwohole. Vadofu sa zitu iwe wodi edere. Valiche ba rumere ziale tarezi ba rwele. Vachilwa na iwe. Hoi uwa mwohole. Ndito mwizia mini umuna. Chivi mbili eji checha vizi wa hapa. Chiri, hoyu ya kobo hana mrandu. Hango ni chinya chitu. Chino hezi ya leta rezabe wa azinga shumi. Bato zumbre uri ya kobo na wana baweka na israeli bako toboli wa nga uri babo nara huchifi. Nduribo penyele la babo nara babo takarabanga na mana yo 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 iko kana nga mkaa. Bado baba ngelwa uri Vopelela ndendiba anji Ndiba na bamutu Rina apa rota ngana na nazingwe zichaka Arichato sumbe ya zwabu de oto saradzi Marabanga baba hava Suzwabo zozu zana Kariba Ria zidiba chiporofito Ria chidiba chama kuruwa shirote Chaurisha ngo labo Ndiseri ya munambo nga hange Ukanana Marariba vura eba sungo shikan Zino bako uwe wanabori wa songo shika kafurupe ziso ya mzimu wabo. Ye mzimu wabo wafurupe sa makuru wabo. Ane makuru wabo ono diela petu ono paradiso. Hune uwe amba na mzimu wawe ahaninge. Haba bako uwe na zitu. Zine haba zidi. Now. Zwe zi baka hei baka hoyu muya hoyu. Vate uri babi zechi mwe chibi mbili. Siba zumburelele zipiri. Siri bewe. Nikoroa zunia nizu ipesesi. Hoyu munono fi balamu. Murua wabora. Udiwana na mwushe personally. Oba hone gipita. Amungwe wabangome. Beba posa zimbada fasi. Mbadaza ya na yawe ya miri wanga wa mushe. Hoyu uto diba chitori cha mushe achipeza. Zino uri kabo. Nikolewe la zenezu doni barela. Nga uri nako sikuru ya igipita. Odi zibo na wakaye babo. Odi zibo to raro kenu. Nito kono vata mbu za luviru raro mara. Huneba vwa hone. Heli ipi heli landau. Ine haba kosi. Zwa amba uri. Kabo ubu sahoba usichaba mutu. Ndi muya. Uzura hobu kate habo. Ari the reason. Sutu zwa vewe ni chikwe ita zwi saiti. Hezi ya leta rendi ya zidiba. Vewe rishini jela mashango. Roshu misa leta reza seven. 
Suno nende kore ba, bone banga ba ba hafa tu kora bela zui. Bone banga ba ruanga le tarezo bara onyan. Suno zwa su zwa bone banga soko di blay. Mama sina di misu moya le tare. Bo zama zono zami wamara asuko di sazon. Una 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 suno zene ba to zwa zori. Hey case yo pe ra papi. Suzanga zo chimbira, hai humushimu nindo jena, e uminimi. Mara zo zo laba chiru ndia pure chedzai. Hamu di dato mbodi uro da vara mnangu. Mingwandi asu mbeke, ara chichi koro baba kopeti sabu do koto la zuini. Ahu na chono ko chimbira. Mara zo ba zuko furu pezi isa. Hosha nduka mini. Ah, otakuwa letare. Ia rufati wa yasha nduki sa zuitu. Mara huna muo mufuda wa watu. Ndi haba vene muzimu wa haba wukati haba. Haba hufibo zura. Kana wa edera. Nido itazote basa koni pindura. Hudo pindura wifi. Haba neba neba nga pinduri. Vadoto haneleri wa mafunguri. Noto dofa. Mara hota kuwa hamba, hamba pungu. Lakono niti sa pungo yofindi hila gereke ya ndao. Nga hori hori huchidhiwa. Hata nga ni wanaipi. Labo hosi. Lapindura. Zui gwena zui chihuma zwa huma zui chiri. Hange mdini una ndao basa. Hakono fi di gareke de hizi kudizi mang hizi zava swa hizi masina hoska hatangani wananda u ya rushaka rayud. Ine ya bomba huba paralyzed ma bahari na ba bone na hava bo ogo ma 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 giant ufi ogo oruba bo na ba Israel bo itachu kubugu bo kamba askal tu pora tumboli hurula tava. Tukamba tombolo tika gurui. Tukamba taba kei ya tombolo. Tukamba nga liduna lono findi li giant. Arali bako seza zi social media. Wadu wabu norma giant ndi dutude. Toya one zono kufukuri wa. Ipiran nendo ima. Tunuvali forarari to ichi piran nendo ima. Danda lao nendi linga pan. Tukamba wala taba ninge. La dalichere ndi doto ipos anga rutia ne paleba. Zura one ya suka ya tumbanta havo. Nda wando fezanga havo. Arangastu richi iru wana hava batu. Vaji kadir, li kadir rara loi tupure yo chava, loi wana li kwa yae. Tua ngani kwa wabu na wesrele bo zura, wako tu vusa na zuta. Eh mawe kaba deba wane chava yiko chimbira. Kana dombo lao ne lalo waru wa una mi ringa nta, na mubu ya ne pala na mchiki ili na to zinga ningezu no nizopata. Hane kwa hota ngana li kwa na li kwa tuwa lo wana chava. Ufi muruwa wa mzimu adachi vata duru. Arato mbo la wianta haogo. La mutsiga mikuro, la mupianya aferane fo. Asongo ruwa nga mutu. Hezi wo wana hechi chilizi hechi. Ure nabari ni songo ofa. Ndwa asia nundianga na Yehova. Fumurani ni dobo na Yehova achiniramule hena. Uwone hoyo mutzimu ochimbrana hababatu. Chingwe chipinga masina abo kifibo rambana Baba chinga zinzie Uo daraba chinga mtaba waruanji Yo safati achibu zwa haya mapungo Atuwa ya ato dachipato ocha mzimu wa keru kanyazu ya mbaro Arriva israeli for three days arili Ngaori arina nungo zauruwa na abu abu wano kuda Mure na mbodita kwa anefa la haba horiti wanda uyo edera Fungo lichi da hapi, jiani wa rubi wa range panda, wa wewa kwe imba zigosha. Ani wa masore na mafumo anusara ni murawa sto di pfumo hezi. Hezi ya singa manda kananga nungo ndinga muya wa jehova. Hava wa rubi wa tukwe imbelela, mure na wari nisungo wa straight in. Ndobona suzi na niti uwa suibona. Ni mwone nga mraha taba nga hange ni hune mdotosuka na velela mdavino nebo zura honi. Zui gwenda zui kwe imbelela mure na wabu shumoni. Ufiba chibere la wawana husinana mti o ima ho. Ubosu ika mre na basu kwa shandu kisa miumbro na makubo nere kwa wu. Wabona na bambasina. Wakeke nyana nduri uya rema ula ula rema ula. Usikera muwe na muwe. Tidizoru wopezi selo rema muoto di rema na mara. Hote hobo sinana mti o sarabu. 
Israeli watu mangala wachipo na zitumbo zwa zinzi yeza zwa ambi wawo ula mtaba wala njo wala pajama duwa huko tui wanazibara sugana suku bako wana wani kwa jia sugina notis gina zuno zoto pendi wa wanga gold kwa mba zwa gold ya vuku yana wadu wanga bara wadu wanga zibara nefala vwa kere la vwa zibaki vwa vwa kuwa pala cash build huko vwa no yanga ningei zwa jia 3 days Mwana mwoko wale la zwa wachi samdini wawe. Nga ura hape uchi wando wani. Ngoro au divis mwana wani wawo chituwe wachi. Kwa chifinga ya peza bo 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 three years. Watu wa ningei. Ni tuwano wala zote. Sui ambaro zo dura. Ziringi. Fumo lwa ulo. Teori wuna zungwe bo doito. Ochi renga ningipana. Masina voto isera. Hava vana hava. Ba hoyo no fi Israel. Ngoro bo rusika wa zura zwa budi. Papaka su zwa budi. Papata mishasha yabo. Mavuwa wachi viyana. Wana wa Israel wata wa kumbe la suzo habo. Nda uyo vuwa. Tamari rio rabe. Ati diburi. Ndi kuamba na mutu. Na apa petu huna mutu ene. Uka nduwa zote ita ohani. Mara zingwe. Zituzele ni ka Jehovah nga tabele. Ene udoni ruera. Hallelujah. Zingwe zituziko toto daori nena vone. Ritende kawe Yehova ndiri murena. Nungo zanga zinga suzi kone ngori zungo zuko ito andisa voni. Vane vabanga antahanga ati vabivi. Na zene vakononga nyita ati na vutanzi na uzibo na ati uzibo uri. Sene cha vahone ndi cha uri murena nendo furufera voni. Hasa takuwa vone vandamre la vadon la vampezi. Nizune nizune nga zona David auri. Arari ya ova songoto imanari nendi musibori peza. Suno nendi kutodori masi ya rea na musi. Ria ria mbe na mzimu. Mungu mutu wabu zemure na vari. Kaba fusenda uya wa Yehova. Nga ngu muhanga. Gori hezu iri hapa. Vangwe hula rao chichini wantandu. Vangwe una vakara avo nrono marwa. Nga vangwe vanna. Vangwe na msuchitori relationship. Nga urono vana hava vanna hava usiku hava. I last. Gori una jealous. Uko uri achirumiwa. Ashika hawa nanda uyo ede. Mara masiari anamusi. Kaifu uwe. Kaibo ombe na uya yuda. Kalwele Yehova. Ufi hezi rode veliwa. Avu wapu. Hae bebi. Asa tufeza ala nama za masuina. Anwa maropa abobo mwere vela. Hububu hali hao yu mzimu. Kabu nchumelewo. Atiko tamoto bupabu chiambiwa. Ngeno babi bachita nga ufuna kahanga mchiru. Jita momu wona hoyu muzimu. Musiba amba shango lichi doa amba. Lono buzisa balamu. Varizwela rumazobu ya. Nga uri hange una mkosi wanda wange. Zwela rumazobu ya. Nga uri hange una voice ya kosi ya avo. Nga mubo na china mtu pepo ana chawe. Mara una kosi ni ava kosi ya mahosi. Inea bandau ya ushaka wa yuda. Nichi mure vera hufu wa ula we vera ho. Arita kweri menga mirenji. Uri mbizelele ni msino kake. Nendi doni ya rabu. Kaya masiari ya ralibone una ukake uronewa kuhubo ono. Uneba zubono rindo zama zote zene zwa fiziti iwe. Zineba ngobako riva chita zwa chimbira. Ne zwanga zi chimbira. Could it be that Moab is at longer health with my life? Could it be that there is a spiritual assault upon my life and upon the lives of my family? Takuwa iwe kosi ya taduru. Kuinga mele mchilo haka. Can I get worshippers to join me now? Kutamu riri. Riri imbe ruimbo horu. Just for a minute. 
bone ba thoma tla go saifong tipilabo ba movuse mrene so christo msia kepeni o fe dera o e dera voa madombo magabero ba tshi botomo jena tshikepeni wafundzi wa ba morena ba movusa ba a u zwirondina uri a fa pa petu oru takuwa dumbo la fomola uri a jerwa ba na mrara tamuriri ya movusa masi ya na musi u fomole dumbo arali boto zilavele sasu wafdi ba dozo bono zori mwezi wa machi amini wa februari ya wawo na gomele ronyana wao churu na wano na kuzuka kwa wabu ya chukua mani wabu angarori chene di anga swabu dibu diyoshu mamini kahudo takuwa henda uyaru shaka wa yuda ika hitze uru from this month of march dikota mwagona chanda cha yehova chichi vurandira hea wa usinandiri takuwa kosi ya Vamos dar curso, vamos dar curso em Europa, ainda mera a opção de casa, ainda mera o bom é o bom na onde estava o bom, ainda mera o bom é o bom na onde ele lá na onde está se vive, ainda mera o bom é o bom na onde ele lá na onde está, daqui a pouco ele vai ajudar, daqui a pouco ele vai ajudar. Takuwa randala mame mulalo Takuwa mureli wanga Takuwa Takuwa winda mele Hallelujah Oh takuwa Katala mandele busa, linga mera Yehova, zabu chiroa, linga mera Yehova, 
Kwa mishumo ya zwanda zwanda Hey Utakuwe, utakuwe rana rana Takuwa mure Takuwa mure mure Takuwa mufurandi Takuwa, takuwa, hey my Lord and my God, Father, we lift our voices as the church to say, Lord, if you don't rise, we have no any other deliverer, no any other defender, no any other. My God, you are our salvation. And we call upon you, Lord, that Lord consider your people in this house consider those that are praying this prayer that Lord consider our lives the obstacles the blockage the barriers that the enemy is lifting before us are too much oh God Lord I pray that you will rise that you will answer to their call may we hear the voice of the king Lord God in the lives of your people that every enemy will scatter Lord that those who come in one direction Father God that we will testify when we watch them go in seven different directions Lord when you defend your people when you defend your church when you defend your name in your people yes you are El Shaddai Elohim we call upon the name of the Almighty the creator of the heavens and the earth our God our defender that this afternoon Lord you may consider Lord your children that are calling upon your name your people that are calling upon your name Hallelujah. Bangobo kwa swamu ya wafeira Bangobo kwa swamu ya wasatanga neze ya batu Bangobo kwa swamu ya unyama Marandi ya barabele langazina la iso masiara na musi Uringamra watu melo hei au naburu waze ono saro zura kanyi kana nyare pano Ngamra wata melo hei morena jeso au namu ya ono saro chisa panda na utobo na batu bao Kaibo menda uya yuda ibaranga anye. Zimuanga sotezu ne zwa zwa mbuso wa sisi. Zwa masina vari toborao. O Jehovah. Ramukisa uramrele. Mune wanga ramrele batubao. Vatanzele renga abu huru habo machiro ni abo. Izu ndi rabera mzi muanga ndi chitenda. Chitenda nga orindo no babo na abo neva chita. Zine batu barea shukona ze. Wapo ze mrena. Wapo ze muyani. Wapo ze miuhumburo. Wapo ze nanamani. Yehova. Nerebe uweba wango o. Bote batu wabe mazwipi. Utakuwe masina babarangane. Zimwanga nendi kotenda Yehova Ruzwebo neba furupensa kangwa hoyu Uvaka hoyu mwezi wa machi Rido zichenjera Nga urinda uya yuda Ya bomba Zwisaiti zwaita Zwachimbiri zwachimbira Zwaima omre na wanga Zwadoba zwata kuchezi Thank you Jesus Thank you my God Ikovomanda we are you. 
Ikobo panda uya yunta. Ikobo mata Ikobo panda. Ikobo Ikobo Hallelujah. <laughs> Can you 